Hey guys, Will from Potato Strong. I just wanted to talk about this potato diet, all potato diet that Andrew Taylor is doing in Australia. He uh, he was on the doctors with Dr. McDougall. So let's just check out this diet, segment. Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig diet, Mediterranean diet, the list goes on and on. But I bet you haven't heard of the potato only diet. It's recently recently been making headlines, and one man in Melbourne, Australia, has decided to stick to this diet for an entire year. But is it safe? We actually have Andrew join us via Skype all the way from Australia. We also have Dr. John McDougall join us on the phone, who is a physician and a believer in this diet. He's also the author of The Starch Solution. So first things first, Andrew, how long have you been on this potato-only diet, and how's it been going for you? Today is the, day, the start of day 43, and everything's going fantastically well, much better than expected so far. How's your energy level? I feel fantastic. I've got abundant energy, so much that I had to start uh, exercising again uh, about a week ago, which is pretty good. And how many pounds have you lost? Uh, I'm not sure in pounds. It's 16 kilos. We work in oh, kilos over wow. here, so that's probably, I don't know, 30 plus pounds. So, Andrew, tell us a little more about the diet. I just make mashed potatoes or boiled potatoes or baked potatoes. I make everything without oil. And uh, or anything fatty added at all, and, uh, and I have some a small amount, minimal amount of herbs and spices and sauces like tomato and barbecue and chili sauce and things like that. But it's pretty boring, really, and I'm doing that on purpose. And I do want to bring into the conversation Dr. McDougall because Dr. McDougall, when I think of potatoes, I do think of them as life sustaining in, in some of these famines we've talked about. But you actually believe that this is this is a great thing to just eat potatoes or is your perspective more so that if you go this route, you'll be just fine? If you go this route, you'll be just fine. But my main focus and what I really like to get across to people is that human beings are starch eaters. Uh, but think about various diets around the world. Uh, in the Far East, people that live on rice are used to 90% of their diet was rice. In uh, Central America, the Aztecs and the Mayans were known as the people of the corn. In uh, South uh, America, the Incas uh, and the other people over there, they uh, would eat basically potatoes. We can't deny the fact that potatoes don't have all the nutrients that you right. need to, to live a healthy existence, correct? They, that's incorrect. They have, you can live on all potato diets alone. There was an experiment done uh, and published in the Biochemical Journal in 1928 where they took a man and a woman. They were both athletes. And uh, they put them on an all-potato diet for six months. And uh, they said that they had no desire for change. They enjoyed the diet. And when they analyzed them physically, they found them to be an excellent health on an all-potato diet. Well, Dr. McDougall, we do have to, to move on. I want to thank you for lending your opinion. So it's a great opportunity to talk about starches and how they powered and, and provided lots of nutrients and health and calories for people throughout the, the centuries and kept them lean and trim and healthy. And, um, you know, there, there's also High Carb Hannah has a potato cleanse right now, which is, you know, has more things. It has non-starchy vegetables as well. And uh, it's not like a year long. So Andrew's doing a year potato only, and he's doing it for, you know, other reasons where it's, um, you know, getting over addictions and just simplifying things so that you just focus on potatoes and you get break through all those old habits. Now, you know, I, I've been doing starch solution uh, about two years and eight months, a starch-based diet, and I just do regular starch-based diet with non-starchy veggies and fruit. And, and so, um, you know, I advocate that as, as really a way, like I change my taste buds by just doing a starch-based diet. So, that's the way I would encourage people to go. But I'm positive and I'm encouraging the people that want to do like a potato cleanse, reset, break some addictions, and just simplify. And um, even if you're doing starch solution, and maybe you start to wander and add things to your diet, like junk foods and things. And, you know, it just you can just do a reset, get your taste buds back in order by doing something simple. So Mary's Mini is sort of like a cleanse, a potato cleanse that Hank Carvajana is talking about. And... Um, you know, at least these guys admitted that potatoes have sustained civilizations for periods of time. And, um, you know, it's great that Dr. McDougall was on as well. And, and the doctors like to have these, 
you know, what they perceive as extreme diets. Um, they've done bananas before, potatoes, but it's such a short segment that it really ignores the, some of the details and people just see this quick little diet and they think it's just crazy fad and, um, you know, they're not, a lot of them aren't getting the message, but, um, let's just keep playing in on this matter. And there's a lot of truth to what Dr. McDougall is saying. There is a diet out there that is extreme in every measure. There's, there's the meat only diet, the potato only diet, the the vegetable only diet. diet. And everyone who does that diet, including Andrew, sounds like you're on this, this train right now. They claim that that is the best diet. Well, I'm going to say I will forever believe this. I think the best diet is the one that, number one, works for you, but variety is the spice of life. So what is, uh, to me, it has more to do with why just eat potatoes if you can enjoy all the other wonderful foods in the world? And so to me, Andrew, I say if this is what you want to do and you're being monitored and you're healthy, I go for it. You know, you be you, and I applaud you for taking your health into your own hands. I really do. Uh, but for people watching, I've said this before, we've had people on the show, banana only diet. I mean, I like it's just, and to me, that's where things get confusing because it's like, well, banana, what do I do? No, just here's the deal. If you eat a well done. Now he's talking about happy, healthy vegans. They were on here. And the thing is, they talk about a banana only diet, but they were, they're not only eating bananas, they're eating starches, cooked foods, lots of other fruit as well. So. You know, they put it on here to kind of get attention, but but the people aren't really eating that. And um, you know, it, this is like for Andrew, it's a it's a it's a way to reset his taste buds. So it's not going to be a life a lifetime. Uh, it's just a short, um, you know, in his case, a year. But it's just a temporary focus on limited First amounts diet of food of natural foods right. that grow from the earth. You're going to do just fine. Andrew, we do yeah, wish you the yeah. best of luck. Thank you so much for sharing with us. Yeah. Yeah. This debate will never end. No, no. And there's always going to be one group that says it's all about this food group this is the way to do it. No, this is the way to do it. It's, well, it's really it, person-specific, too. I mean, if I ate potatoes all day, I would look like a potato. At the end of the day. No, that's not really true. Um, potatoes have like 1% fat are low in calorie and, and really filling. And if you ate potatoes, a lot of potatoes, um, she would get really lean and healthy. And uh, so there's that just that concept that every single person's different and they need this unique diet for themselves and, and that uh, carbs are gonna make you fat. And it's, it's really not true. So, but uh, you know, a lot of us are grateful that uh, bananas and you know potatoes are getting any type of exposure to make people think and, and and when somebody comes on tv and shows that they lost weight eating potatoes you know that may hopefully break through some of these perceptions that they have that, that you're going to get fat from potatoes but uh you know unfortunately it wasn't a really long segment to get into the details hey, everyone has to figure out what works for them yep. if you are struggling with your current diet you know it's okay as long as you're doing it in a healthy way and in conjunction with your doctor, it's okay to try something new and get outside yeah. of your comfort zone. Figure out what may work for you. If this works for Andrew, kudos to him. We'll be right back. Yeah. So Dr. Stark was actually quite positive about this um, because when they did a uh, segment on bananas, they were saying that people can get, um, you know, like too much potassium and, and they're quite fairly negative on that. So, He's quite open-minded, and um, mo- n- normally I'm critical of detoxes, cleanses, and diets because they're short-term focused, but it's usually a uh, weight loss focus. And in this case, there's a real value in resetting your taste buds from the, all the salt, sugar, fat from uh, a standard American diet and addictions and things, and just totally simplifying your diet. So there's resetting the palate. And simplifying, he talked variety is a spice of life, but if you have a lot of different, you know, I like a, a certain amount of variety, but there's show, studies that show that when you eat one food, you tend, you, you get kind of bored of it. Like kids, you know, you, you eat something, you you get bored and you're, you're satisfied. But if you have, you know, if you have a bunch of different things, you can eat some, some of this and you get full and you, but you're, you know, you move on to the next food. And so you'll eat a whole bunch of different things. And depending on the calorie density of the food, you know, a lot of times that might not be a problem, but a lot of studies show that limiting variety can actually help 
as well. So you just eat a few, you know, like just a starch and some non-starchy veggies, keep it real simple. You'll be satiated, but you won't be completely tempted by all the, a whole range of uh, foods in one meal. So anyways, just thought I'd give you my thoughts on that and uh, overall a positive uh, message. And I hope Andrew does, you know, is very successful on this and he's already done, done well. So hope that helps you guys. Talk to you later.